welcome welcome thank you so much for subscribing to this youtube channel welcome once again the headlines adeshope warns pan yoruba groups ahead of 2023 election let's dive into the news the president of Odudua People's Congress Reformed, OPCR, Chief Dawe Adishope, has warned Yoruba elder statesmen, Pa Ayo Adibanjo, and all relevant groups to shield their swords and put their house in order so the presidential flag bearer of the ruling party, APC, Asiwaju Bola Amentinubu, will contest the next election with a formidable team from home for his victory. Hmm. So, sir, Chief Dawi Adishope, what you're trying to point to us is the Yoruba nation should accept Tinubu and vote for him as the next president of Nigeria. But I think you're not getting us, the Yoruba people. What the Yoruba nation is saying is they want to leave Nigeria. They don't care if Tinubu wants to contest for any election. All they're asking the Nigerian government is for them to give them their freedom. They want sovereignty for their nation. So what are you trying to point out to them now? Well, let's continue. Adesokwe who pointed out that this is a golden opportunity for the Yoruba wish to produce the next president, said the ambition of few individuals and self tendencies cannot be allowed to scuttle the large larger interest of the Yoruba race and the country at large. Excuse me, sir, Chief Dari Adesokwe. Who are the minority and who are the majority in this Yoruba nation in the, in the, for, among the Yorubas? I believe that the Yoruba nation are the majority. They are the ones that are standing and more than those that want to contest for election. It is fine if some Yorubas still are being full-headed and want to go and vote for them, but that's their business. That is their cup of tea. But what the Yoruba nation are saying is they want to vote. They want to leave Nigeria. They want to go out. You can vote. That is your business. But all they are saying is they want to leave Nigeria. So what are you saying, sir? Let's look at what they're saying. According to him, the election is going to be in favor of Tinumbo going by his achievement in Lagos State. Adding that with the number of resourceful people he has produced, the political parties he founded and sustained are testimonies of his political sagacity, which the country can benefit endlessly from if he becomes a president. Hmm. First of all, my first question to you, Chief Daria Deshape, what resourceful people has he produced? Is it those agbeos out there terrorizing people? Are that the one he said he produced? I don't get you, sir. Give us one reason why you want the Yoruba nation to vote for Tinubu to become the next president. Tinubu should be supporting the Yoruba nation. And helping them to leave this wicked country. But no. You're not telling us that we should vote for him. Hmm. The OPC boss described the recent comment by Pa Ayo Adebanjo that Anu Afeni Ferre is in support of the Labour Party presidential flag bearer Peter Obi as blunted lie and figment of his own imagination. We call in a Yoruba proverb that one's child cannot be qualified for a position and you give such position to a stranger. So what you're trying to point out to us now is Tinubu is a qualified candidate for the presidential seat in 2023 election. And that the Yoruba should take this great opportunity because this is the, I think, this is another time for the Yorubas to rule Nigeria. Is that what you're trying to say, sir? He said... Tinubu has a pedigree and all what it takes to rule this country and make the Yoruba race proud because he has done it in the past with Lagos experiment by turning the economy fortune of the state to enviable height. Mm. That's why all hands must be on deck to assist him to assist to assist him to get to our work next year. Well, sir, it's your business. I don't I don't know about anybody, but I'm very sure the Yoruba nation would not accept this. They've come too far to turn their back. They've come too far, sir. He called on all self-determined groups in the Southwest to come together and speak with one voice for the 2023 poll. Hmm. Let's look at the comments of people towards what's happening, towards what Chief Daria Desoke said, that Tinumbu is the best candidate and Tinumbu 
should be voted by the Yoruba nation. Let's look at the comments. Richard Okoye said, Ethnic Jingyost, you are still in 1999. Fool, we are already in the millennial. Okay. Okay. Lawrence Ogundola said, Chief Daria Disokwe, Tinimu did not portray himself as a good Yoruba man during his tenure as governor of Lagos State. Tinimu was causing Lagos State pensioners any time they demanded for their pensions. Tinimu would disobey court order over payment of salaries to Lagos State workers. Tinimu that would turn schools taken over for years for the benefit of people and children of Lagos State. Tinimu would sack Ayodelia Kelly. Akele from Lagos State Service over salary pay. Hmm. Tinubu who didn't forgive anybody. Tinubu who suffered Lagos State workers with salaries. Tinubu who was antagonist with the federal government that caused withheld of allocation to Lagos State. I remember this was in um Obasan just regime. Tinubu who abused Baba Obasan just that is chief election wager. Tinubu who advised Governor Fashola to sack Lagos State doctors when they demanded for better salary pay. Tinubu who abused Papa Olabode George as a greedy politician, consider the role Tinubu played in the killing of Lagos State youth at Lekki Tollgate. Tinubu has committed a lot of atrocities and therefore not does not does not deserve the support of Yoruba people. I support this, my brother. I support I support this, and I'm very sure most Yoruba people out there, and especially the Yoruba nation, will support this. Lawrence Ogunella said, You are one of those hungry politicians that feed on the crumbs that fell that fell from the dining table of Tinubu. That is why you can't see truth. Hmm. Leonard said, Dear M, Dari Adesokwe, it is people like you that doesn't want Nigeria to have peace and development, bringing your ancestor to come and rule, who after Obasan just eight years and Usiba just eight years as VP, all from SW, okay? When the troubles you people are conjuring up comes, don't ever try to run into Benin Republic for safety. And that is a true fact. So this is what we we'll say right now. The people that are shouting that they want to vote for Tinubu, that Tinubu is the best choice, that the Obas are now being given opportunity to rule the nation. What if you vote for this man? And four years later, everything in Nigeria turns upside down. What if, after four years, he comes again and contests for election the way Buari did? And say, don't worry, the four years wasn't enough for me to rule you guys, for me to make things right. Give me another four years and we'll do the same foolish, foolish thing again and still vote for him. <sighs> Just imagine how this country will be like. I don't know about you, but for the Yoruba nation, they don't care who is the person. They don't care who you want to vote for. If it's Peter Obi, if it's Atiku, or if it's Tinubu, all they want is they want to leave Nigeria. Let me hear what you feel about this. What's, what do you feel about what Chief Davi Adishopa said? He's a chairman of the OPC, Ododua People's Congress Reformed. And he's somebody that's supposed to be supporting Yoruba Nation, but no, he's not supporting them. Let me just tell me how you feel. What do you feel about what's happening? I don't know if you're, if you're not supporting the Yoruba nation or if you're supporting them, but let me just, how do you feel about this? Let me see this in the comment section. I will be waiting for your reply. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for your time. Please do not forget to like this video channel. And for those who have not subscribed, please do not forget to subscribe. Click on the red button and subscribe for more of this juicy news. Thank you so much for your time. God bless.